before starting this video let me tell you if you have any doubt regarding this problem or any problem you can contact me on instagram or you can join my discord server i provide both the links in the comment section i will pin them okay so in this video i'm going to discuss make it beautiful problem which occurred in today's code forces pro uh, challenge this is the first co first problem so it states that you are given an input this is the number of test cases okay i'm sorry for the focus yeah so this is the number of test cases t and this is the n and this is the array of size n okay so what you have to do is you have to check if at any instance at any element the sum of all its previous element is equal to that element then this array is not valid okay this some ugly or beauty some stuff that is it is not valid okay and so you have to change it like if it is 3366 for 6 3 plus 3 is equals to 6 and this element is equals to 6 so this is not valid so you have to change it and make it 3 6 3 6 so now 3 and 6 is valid 6 plus 3 is 9 is valid 3 plus 6 plus 3 is not equals to 6 is valid okay for 2 10 10 you swap these two it still becomes 10 10 and this if you uh, check for this element the sum of previous elements is 10 and this is also 10 okay for 5 uh for this 3 case 2 plus 1 is 3 so this is not valid for this case it is it is okay okay it is okay now this is what the program the test cases has as given in the question the output for them but i will be providing you with the simpler code which will be giving it like this okay like 6363 it's still see it's still valid 6 Three okay. Six plus three is nine, not equal to six. Six plus three plus six, not equal to three. Five plus four, not equal to three. Five plus four plus three, the rest not equals. Four, not equals to one. Four plus one, not equals to four. And okay, so, so what we basically need to do is, we have to check for no. Okay, for no. First of all, for no. That is case one. What if no? If all elements. Are equal, then no. Okay. Else, case two is this is else. Okay. Else, case two. That is yes. Now, if it is yes, you have to sort array sorted in descending order. Okay. descending order but are we finished are we finished like in this case if we sort this array in descending order this 144 it becomes 441 right now see for 4 this 4 is over here right so this is not a sufficient condition right this is not a sufficient condition so in this case after we have done sorting it in descending order now we have to perform one operation that is Uh, let k is equals to one, and while arr of k is not equal to arr of zero, okay, we are going to go k plus plus, and then swap arr of one and arr of k. So let's check this out uh, for this condition. Three three six six. So first of all, after all the elements are not equal, so it will be a yes. And now we have to sort the array. Okay, so it was three three six six sorted in descending order. It becomes six six three three. And k is equals to one. That is k is pointing over here. And while a r of k not equals to a r of zero. Okay, while this is not equals to this. So this is equal to this. So now k gets incremented by one. Now six is not equals to three, right? So what we do? Swap a r of one and a r of k. That is, we are going to swap them. Okay. So that becomes six three, six three. Valid one. So for one four four, after descending order, it becomes four four one. Now these two are equal. Now we go to this position. This these two are not equal. So we swap them. Okay. So that is four one four. This is a valid thing. Okay. this is basically based on the logic that if we apply descending order on any array the sum of the previous previous terms cannot can never be equal to that term right until and unless it can be equal only for the second element 
if the first and second element are equal that is we are dealing in this condition and if it's not equal then it's not a problem we can sort it in descending order and we are done with it like let's say if it's in descending order so this uh, there will the array would be a b c and a is greater than b greater than sorry let me write it clearly a b c d dot 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 okay and this is greater this is greater this is greater so a is greater than b a plus b should be greater than c also a plus b plus c will be greater than d also but there is one exceptional case that is if it is a a b c and dot 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 okay so in this case this is greater but this is equal right so in this case only for this one it will be equal now if we would have checked for if we would have given a over here also there won't be a problem because a plus a that is 2a is not equal to a now for this a plus a plus a 3a not equals to a so this this is the condition where this no condition comes okay so if all the elements are equal okay dot 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 a there is no possibility that we can remove this ambiguity from this position okay it will be obviously equal to this if it's not so we sort in descending order and then swap ar of 1 and ar of k okay so the main portion of the code was if all elements are equal then no if it's not so then yes and then sort the array in descending order k is equals to 1 while ar of k not equals to arr of 0 k plus plus swap and after we are done with this swap uh, arr of 1 and arr of k so this is step 1 this is uh, this thing is step 2 and this thing is step 3 thank you